Good afternoon, SEO for Startups fans. Uh, we're back this week with our Friday video. Um, a little bit different this week. What we're going to discuss is a brief history of Google's official ranking algorithm updates. Yeah. So there's been a few unofficial ones, uh, but there's been a lot of official ones that we should really go through because we get a lot of questions around yeah, updates, don't we? Yeah, and there's uh, the unofficial ones tend to be when someone within the industry is picked up on some sort of change to a website and yeah. thinks that Google's released an update, but. It's not always confirmed by Google, is no. it? So you can't really be sure. But yes. there's been plenty of actual official ones that we can go through. Yeah. That you can always get stuck into. And we're just focusing on the main ones as well. Yeah, exactly. Cool. So we'll start off back, all the way back in 2011. Yeah. There were ones prior to this, but these are the main ones. So the first one is freshness. Google rolled out an update to uh, promote fresh content over stale content. So this is why we always promote, or people in SEO promote you to do <coughs> blogs. Because blogs are great because they keep fresh content on your website. And it may also be why if you release a new blog or a new page, you see it rank high immediately, or rank higher immediately, and then start to, start to drop back. That'd be because it got that boost from being fresh content. Yeah, awesome. Cool. And that was 2011. Yeah, another one in 2011, probably one of the first big updates really yeah. was um, the Panda update. So this focused um, not on freshness of content, but quality of content. Mm -hmm. um, so quality of content on the website, um, there was even some focus on the amount of ads on the website as well within there. Um, so yeah, making sure your content was unique, making sure that it was useful, which is still stuff that kind of... Yeah, really Jupiter was a big one for that, wasn't it? Massively so, yeah. Cool. Then we go on to 2012, Penguin. Penguin. Penguin was a big one. Anyone in SEO back in 2012 will remember. So Penguin was an algorithm update that hit spammy SEO tactics, primarily known for hitting websites who had bad backlink profiles. So we talk about bad backlinks, which we've spoke about. I've got a blog post. Yeah. It was the Penguin update that really put an end to people building these low quality spammy backlinks. Uh, Google just penalized a lot of people in the SEO industry. So that was a big one. That was probably the biggest one in terms of actual impact to the industry. It felt that way, yeah, for sure, yeah. Definitely so. Or maybe we were just bad backlink people <laughs> <No. laughs> um, Next one was Venice. So this was the first one that kind of focused around local SEO. Um, so this was Google's push to really kind of localize your searches <laughs> without you kind of specifying it. So for example, um, before this, Point. If you search for plumber, they would just grab all of the websites that they had in their index and just return the one that's most relevant. After this update, they then start to use your location and start to say plumber Leicester. Um, so they, they do a search for plumber Leicester even if you just search for plumber um, mm. because they take your location into consideration there. So that was the first one really from a local SEO point of view. Cool. <clears throat> Hummingbird was um, a bit of a different one. This was more of a, a larger update around their semantic search. So what I mean by that is this update really improved Google's ability to be able to look at the content of a website and return back results that are more relevant to that content. So prior to this, Google was more about keywords, keyword density. So if your keywords stuffed, you'd rank well because they were just looking for instances of keywords. With Hummingbird came more around um, synonymous phrases, uh, entity relationships, which obviously you can utilize now, which we released yeah. out into Hike. Um, so yeah, that was a big update in return in terms of the quality of the content you created. Yeah. Next one, a bit of a smaller update, um, but HTTPS. So essentially, all Google did here was just give a, a small boost to anyone that had a HTTPS website. Um, yeah, it was a small update in their words. I don't know, a lot of people have now moved over to HTTPS anyway because of it. That's yeah, it. so we don't know the actual yeah. SEO boost you get. It could be correlation rather than causation. Right? Exactly, yeah. Cool, next one, Mobile Geddon. Great name. Uh, so this was when um, mobile-friendly websites. So Google, was realizing that the majority of their searches were performed on mobile mobile devices. So what they wanted to do is make sure that every website was had a mobile, well, mobile first, was mobile friendly. So websites that were mobile friendly, i.e., you know, the elements were not too far apart, you know, you could click them with your fingers, it was easy to use, got a boost. Those that didn't, dropped. And that's still in place now. So make sure that your, uh, your website passes the mobile friendly test. Yeah, and there's tools to do that in Google Search Console as well. Yep. Um, next one was RankBrain. So this was one that kind of Google first started to introduce machine learning into their algorithm uh, and essentially used it and the, the bits that they learned from machine learning actually as part of their algorithm. And apparently it was the third biggest influence on the actual algorithm yeah, itself. Yeah, the links and content, right? Exactly, yeah. So um, not so much around anything you could really do with mm. this one, um, but it was just a, an update that they brought out and they kind of moved towards, I suppose, better understanding the content on the page or the website yeah. as a whole. I think long tail. Yes. Long-tail keywords, it was, it, it's used a lot for long-tail searches, apparently. It's one yeah. of the more predominant ones there, where you can't really look at backlinks because you might not have lots of backlinks to exactly. Backlinks. Yeah. Cool. So the next one, next big one we're going to talk about was 2017. It's called the Intrusive Interstitial. Easy for you to <laughs> <say>. <laughs> uh, penalty, which basically means pop-ups. 
So um, Google think it's a bad user experience if when a user lands on your site, they just they can't see the content you got a big pop up. You know whether it's on its one newsletter or get ten percent off. Um, Google basically deem that as poor user experience, and you can get uh, a demotion in SEO, shall we say, uh, if you do that. So have a look at your website now. We still see a lot of small business websites. You land on the website. There's no time delay for the pop up. It appears straight away. Make sure it doesn't, that it's not hiding any of the content. Just delay it for about 10 seconds just to be safe. Then Google won't see it and then you're, you're fine. Yeah, I was going to say cookie policies and all that seem to have overtaken. And yeah, people uh, load a lot of them via pop-ups as well. So yeah, be careful. Be careful. Um, next one, uh, Mobile First came out just last year. Uh, and this was essentially Google's switch to basically rank a website based on their mobile performance before they take into consideration their desktop performance. So essentially make sure <coughs> that your mobile site isn't really... Well, it is ranked well. Uh, well, it's optimized, optimized well, sorry. Yep. Um, but then also um, make sure that you actually have a mobile site. We still see websites that don't have a mobile version. Mobile friendly site, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, look at that first uh, and then look at your desktop version afterwards. Cool. And that leads us to now, which is the core updates. You probably heard the phrase um, a Google core algorithm update. So, Google now basically bundle all of this yeah. into up core updates, which they release every, what, six months? Three months? I don't know, yeah. something like that, yeah. So they don't actually tell you, oh, this update uh, was based around mobile friendliness, or this update was based around your content. They just, they package it all up into a core update, right? Yeah, exactly. And they make uh, what, hundreds of updates a year yeah. to their algorithm, so they're always going to be making small changes. Um, the core updates just mean it's more difficult for us to pinpoint exactly what it is that was affected by. Yeah. So, which is... Yeah, it's, it's one of the things Google are always going to do that. Um, yeah. There is a blog post around core updates and what to do if when they launch one, if you see your website drop. So we'll drop that in the comments. Um, that was something that Google released a couple of days ago, or maybe even a week ago now. But cool. yeah, it's worthwhile looking at. All right, so there's your brief history of Google's official updates. Yeah. Um, I guess last thing to mention, a few hike updates, right? Yeah. We've rolled out a new dashboard design. We have, yes. Yeah, so looking very sexy. Yeah, it works really well. Uh, yeah, and it gives you a lot more information now um, on the actual dashboard. Whereas before you only had a couple of bits, this gives you kind of an overview of your whole campaign. Cool. Um, give us feedback on that. Um, we'd love to hear what you think. Yep. We've um, we've rolled out some updates to the white label um, feature. So you can create custom actions. You can hide user permissions. Um, you can sell SEO services through Hike for our agency users. And then finally, we've rolled out affiliates. Yeah. So essentially, if you have anyone that you think may find a lot of use of Hike, um, sign up to the affiliate program. We give you a 20% ongoing commission for the life that they're on the actual platform, so yeah. it's totally free to sign up. Um, there was a link on the group yesterday, I think Andy posted it, but we'll drop one in the comments as well. Awesome, cool, that's it. Should we wrap up? Yeah, awesome, so see you next week. Bye.